people and bots. Grandpa Canuck here, and we are in Stationaires for another interesting tutorial. Okay, here we are in uh, my filtration system. And today I'd like to talk about these two items. The condensation valve and the purge valve and a practical application. Okay, here on Mars we have very very low pressure and varied temperature. Now, the various gases that I come to use I run through a main line here, a manifold down the middle. And under pressure uh, certain gases, in particular here, N2O, uh, even at 1.2 megapascals, will liquefy inside my gas pipe. Okay, so this is a problem. As you can see, the orange, the stress because of the liquid on that pipe is causing serious issues, and it will explode that pipe. If that gets up over 100%, it's going to weaken it, and it's going to blow it. Kabooey. You don't want that. So how do we handle that? Well, in particular, it's the N2O, which I've colored purple here on my color scheme. And I have a filtration system here taking off the N2O. So when I bring it off of the main line, I want to separate it. Here I have a pressure regulator, and you can see I'm now putting it into a tank, but there's liquid. So what you do is you put a condensation valve to take the liquid off, and over here it will evaporate under low pressure, and so you bring it back with a purge valve. So this is rendering the system safe. So as I pump it in, let's watch this. See it's stress. It's going to blow. I caught it in time. <laughs> You can hear the sounds. Okay, so it's pulling off the liquid. It's putting it over there. And if it evaporates back, it'll push it back over here. Okay, one more time. Just pumping that little bit in, put the stress on the pipe. So anywhere where you have a situation of liquid forming in a pipe, you can use a system like this to bleed off the liquid into liquid lines. Right? This is all liquid on this side, liquid piping, liquid container, okay. As you can see, it's mostly liquid. It does have some gas, which is increasing the pressure on it. But the gas will be released back onto this side. Okay, one more time. The NTO that I'm pumping out is solid. Well, no, it's not. It's part liquid now and part gas. And that's filtrating through into this pipe and then separating out. So this is a practical application of where you would use a 
condensation valve and a purge valve. And in this case, you use them together. If you wanted to just pull off a liquid, that's what you use a condensation valve for. If you want to just draw gases off of a liquid line, that's what you use a purge valve for. But you can use them here together. And I could install one of these, and I probably should, on this manifold so I don't get the pressure. Now, one other thing. The black here is all pollutants. Pollutants can do the same thing under pressure, but it has to be over 5 point something here at my base. Now, the uh, item holding the tank here, um, why can't I remember what it's called? Portables connector. Ugh. Couldn't remember. Portables connector. A portables connector has a pipe connector that is for gas and one that is for liquid. So inside of this is actually something that's going to separate the liquid off of a gas system or the gas off of a liquid system. Okay? So it's like those two kind of combined on the inside. So here I have a, uh, a holding tank area for liquid. If liquid formed in this area, okay, and then I would bleed off the gas that was produced back into the system here. I could throw it out into the atmosphere because I don't want it, or pump it back into the tank if it was just straight gas. And if enough pressure built up and there was liquid, I would just build up a storage tank of liquid here beside my tank of gas. And I could manage this and uh, you know put it into something else or whatever my other application is. Okay, so here. I'm only using a purge valve because it's naturally occurring inside here. It's separating it because it has a input and an output. Well, input two is liquid. Input one is gas. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, most of the liquid's been removed. I'm down to 0 0.01 percent. And this is mostly liquid on this side. Now, if you don't do this on Mars, you're going to get too much liquid naturally occurring and you're going to blow your pipes. Okay. N2O. Liquid and gas in my manifold pipe here. That's not good. Too much liquid in that pipe is going to make stress and blow it. There it is. See it's high, it's red. If I wasn't doing anything about that, it would explode. So I'm bleeding it off using a condensation valve. And similarly on the other side, if it condenses down, or sorry, if it evaporates off the gas is then brought back into this side. So there's a practical application for a purge valve 
and a condensation valve used together. Okay, and the same sort of thing can be done using a tank on the portable connector. This is Grandpa Canuck, and this is another tutorial for you to learn. If you have feedback on this tutorial or any others, or want to see tutorials on more things, please leave me a message. If I know how to do it or solve the problem you ask, I'll write a tutorial for you. So until next time, all you people and bots out there, take care. Be good to one another. Bye-bye.